Hello, this is Stuart Chalmers here, and I'd like to show you how to choose images from the internet and insert them into documents or upload them onto other websites on the internet in a quick and efficient way. Now, you may already know how to do this, and if you do, that's great, but if not, I think you're going to find this a useful tip. Um, I'm going to use Google Images for this, and I'll point out before um, we carry on that there is two image sizes. There's the thumbnail you see here, so if I, if I was to right click this and save it for example, then I would save the thumbnail that I see there. But if I click it to get the full size of the picture, and I right click it and save the image there, from there I will get that size of a picture, or, or bigger depending on the, the whole size of it. Um, and this is what most people would do, they would usually save that image first, um, so I'll save it there and I'll put it into a file folder and I'll, I'll show you that. There it is, that's the, that's the image and that's the size of it. And then what they would usually do is go to Word or wherever they're going to put it in and they would click insert and picture, then they would choose that picture. which is there and there you are and that's quite quick but there is a quicker way of doing it so if I get rid of that picture again and I go back to Google Images um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to escape that picture to go back to that now I can I, I need to go to the main picture again because if I, I, I what I can do is I can copy the image location but if I copy it from here I don't actually get the image file, I get this great big huge link instead. So to get the actual file, I need to click the picture, then right click it and copy the image location. And as I'll show you, now I have the proper image file. It's got a .jpg on the end and it needs a .jpg or a .gif or a .png, but it needs to be a valid image file. So, um, okay, I'm just gonna get rid of that. Right, so back to this picture. So I want to insert that into a document or somewhere. So all I got to do is right click it uh, and copy the image location. And instead of saving it to disk, I can insert it straight in. And this works wherever there is a Windows, Microsoft, sorry, Microsoft Windows uh, file manager dialog like this. It will work virtually anywhere. So there you are, I just put it in and notice that it's an HTTP and that's going to load it straight into, into my Word document. Now let's do that again from scratch just to show you how fast it really is. So there it is, there's the pictures, there's the images. Um, I want that image for example, there it is. I right click, copy the image location, um, go to words click insert, click picture, paste in the image location, click insert and it's done. And that saved the whole stage of saving it to disk um, and then uh, inserting it and finding it on the disk. You just took it straight from the internet. Um, and this works similarly in things like WordPress, which is a, a online service. So let's say I want to put it put that image into here, I simply add media, upload files, select files, and again I get the Windows file manager here, I paste the image location, see it's still HTTP, and open, or I could have double clicked it, and there you are, it's loading straight into WordPress, so it's gone straight from this location on Google Images straight into my WordPress site. Uh, if I insert it there, there is the image. So I hope you found that useful. I hope that will save you some time. Please give it a go. Bye for now.